Hello friends, today we discuss about Bernoulli's equation from Euler's equation of motion. So first we derive Euler's equation of motion and then integrating it to get Bernoulli's equation. So first we consider one fluid element have area dA and length ds. Consider this side, if this side pressure is acting P. So what do you mean by pressure? Pressure is equal to force per unit area. So pressure force that is P into A. Here we consider area dA. So pressure force acting this side P into dA. And this is the direction of fluid of motion. So at other side, always there is one force that opposing the motion of the fluid. If here pressure is P, then with respect to distance, pressure is change. So here pressure is, first pressure is P and with respect to distance, pressure is change. So pressure acting this side is P plus delta P by delta S into dS. So this is the pressure and pressure force means pressure into area. So this force opposes the motion of the fluid and third force that is force due to gravity so here at uh, acting downward weight is acting downward so weight is equal to mass into gravitational acceleration mg we know that density is equal to mass per unit volume so in place of mass we can write density multiply volume g as it is then rho g as it is in place of volume we know that volume means area into length so da and length that is ds so weight is equal to rho g da ds so in euler's equation we consider three force uh, pressure, uh, force due to pressure and force due to gravity. So here force uh, forces due to pressure that is PDA acting uh, to the direction of flow and uh, second pressure force that is P plus delta P by delta S into ds dA that oppose the direction of the motion of the fluid. And third weight weight force that is rho g dA ds. So in Euler's equation of motion, we mainly consider forces due to pre pressure and forces due to gravity. Forces due to pressure that is P dA direction of flow and P plus delta P by delta S into ds into dA act opposite to the direction of flow. And th next uh, forces due to gravity that is W is equal to mg. So rho v g. So rho g as it is in place of volume, we can write rho dA ds. So weight is equal to rho g dA ds. Let theta is the angle between the weight of the fluid element and the direction of flow. So this angle is theta. So here angle adjacent sides. So we can write cos theta. So that is force is rho g dA ds. So this is angle adjacent sides. So we can write rho g dA ds cos theta. Next step is find resultant force. Here we consider upward direction that is positive and downward direction that is negative. So here we find resultant force. So PDA goes upward direction so that is positive. So PDA minus rho g dA ds cos theta minus P delta P by delta S into ds into dA. So that is the resultant force. We know that force is equal to ma. So this resultant force must be equal to the mass of the fluid element multiply acceleration in the direction of fluid flow. So next step is find mass of the fluid element. So we know that density is equal to mass per unit volume. So mass is equal to density multiply volume. Here volume means area into length. So area we consider that is dA and length we consider that is ds. So in place of mass we can write rho dA ds. So first find resultant force and this resultant force must be equal to the mass of the fluid element multiply acceleration in the direction s. So here we write resultant force is equal to mass of the fluid element multiply acceleration in the direction s. So resultant force that is P dA minus P delta P by delta S into dS into dA minus rho g dA dS cos theta. In place of mass of the fluid element we can write rho dA dS acceleration we can write as. So simplify this equation 
PDA minus PDA minus delta P by delta S ds dA. So we can write PDA minus PDA minus delta P by delta S ds dA minus rho G dA ds cos theta is equal to rho dA ds as. Next step PDA PDA cancel out. So we can write this equation minus delta P by delta S into ds dA minus rho G dA ds cos theta is equal to rho dA ds into As. In next step we find acceleration As. We know that acceleration means rate of change of velocity with respect to distance that is dv by dt. Again velocity is a function of distance per distance and time because velocity we can write ds by dt. So in this way we find acceleration in the direction of s. So first we write acceleration that is as is equal to rate of change of velocity with respect to time. So as is equal to dv by dt. Again we know that velocity that is ds by dt. So v is a function of s and t. So here we use partial derivative. So that's why in place of dv by dt we can write delta v by delta s ds by dt plus delta v by delta t dt by dt. So in place of ds by dt we can write velocity v. So delta v by delta s into v plus delta v by delta t. So acceleration we get as is equal to v delta v by delta s plus delta v by delta t. Again we, here we assume flow is steady. Uh, what is the meaning of steady flow? Steady flow means velocity does not change with respect to time means its derivative is 0. So delta v by delta t is equal to 0. So finally we get value of acceleration as is equal to v delta v by delta s put this value in equation number one so in equation number one that is here equation number one that is minus delta p by delta s ds da minus rho g da ds cos theta is equal to rho da ds as so in place of as we put the value so we get minus delta p by delta s ds da minus rho g da ds cos theta is equal to rho da ds in place of as we write v delta v by delta s now dividing this equation by rho da ds so we get minus delta p by delta s ds ds cancel out uh, remaining that is rho so here we get minus delta p by rho delta s Again rho dA ds cancel out so we uh, remaining is g cos theta so minus g cos theta here rho dA ds cancel out so remaining is v delta v by delta s so next step is dividing by rho dA ds so we get minus delta p rho delta s minus g cos theta is equal to v delta v by delta s again rewrite this equation so that's why uh, both this value goes this side so delta p by rho delta s plus g cos theta plus v delta v by delta s is equal to 0 but as shown in figure uh, the length is ds and height is dz here angle is theta so cos theta is equal to dz divided by ds so cos theta is equal to dz divided by ds so in place of cos theta we write delta p by rho delta s here we write dz divided by ds so plus g dz divided by ds plus v delta v by delta s is equal to 0 here uh, simplify this equation again here all this delta s so we write delta p by rho plus g dz plus v dv is equal to 0 so finally we get Euler's equation of motion our target is derived Bernoulli's equation so first we derive Euler's equation then integrating it to get Bernoulli's equation so integrating this equation so integration dp by rho plus integration g dz plus integration v dv is equal to zero but here we assume that the flow is incompressible incompressible means there is no change in volume if there is no change in volume that means density is constant so if the flow is incompressible density is constant so integration dp by rho that is integration of dp that is p so p by rho plus g constant dz integration that is z plus 
uh, integration v dv that is v square by 2. So finally we get p by rho plus v square by 2 plus gz is equal to constant dividing this equation by g. So p by rho g plus v square by 2g plus z is equal to constant. So here p by rho g that is pressure head v square by 2g that is kinetic head and z is equal to potential head. So this equation is known as a Bernoulli's equation. So we can write statement of Bernoulli's theorem. It states that in a steady ideal flow ideal flow incompressible fluid the total energy total energy means sum of pressure energy kinetic energy and potential energy so again i repeat it states that in a steady ideal flow and incompressible fluid the total energy means sum of pressure energy kinetic energy and potential energy of the at any point of the fluid is always constant so we can write p by rho g plus v square by 2g plus z is equal to constant so this is the bernoulli's equation here to derive Bernoulli's equation, we assume the fluid is ideal, the flow is steady, the flow is incompressible and the flow is irrotational. Thank you.